Episode 92. I am your co host, Pisky, and I am joined as always by the well dressed Godfather. Happy Good Friday, everyone. Happy Good Friday. Buena Pasca? Pasca? Come on, stop fucking around right, right off the hop. <laughs> Buena Pasqua, that's right. Buena Pasqua, Pasqua. Yeah. Does Pasqua derive from Pasquale? Or no? um yeah i think it does yeah see? serious see there you see, go you always, you always think of screwing around and uh, that was an actual question yeah yeah no that's actually a good question i had a Happy... couple of couple of uncles named pasquale so yes ah, there was a belleville bulls goalie called eddie pasquale i believe oh is that right there, well, there you the go bulls. early days back in the day how are things Okay, let me put my phone on. Fucking no. do not we disturb. Over. We gotta start over. Why you gotta start over for? Minor, what do you, minor deal. What do you got planned? Big weekend? It, I'm at. Uh, we, I don't I'm know. Back in Toronto, and things are dead here. Not, not only yeah. are they dead. Remember, it used to be. You, you know, you love Scotia Plaza. That's where I am today. You know, it's two floors. It used to be two floors. Mm -hmm. As of. Two days ago, it is now only one floor. Forty second, that's it. Well, we were, you know, we were sold off. You were very well aware that your company, your favorite company in the whole world, went into receivership or something. Uh, you, you know, bankruptcy, insolvency, or something. So you think they're going to still have triple floors in 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 in, in the Scotia Bank Plaza and all these business uh, buildings downtown? No, I mean. Well, faulty, I, I, faulty business model. Nobody pays for Stugats there, and you know, they're still hello. going though. They're still going. The doors are still open. The well, espressos that's good. are still pouring. Yeah, Actually, well, I, I had to drink tea today because when Good Friday, everyone's off. They don't have coffee machines. Why not? They shut them down. You see, I don't know. Okay, I'm not in the mood today for to get upset you know so let's you know go what? right out of the gate right out of the gate some of our viewers who communicate with me regularly via dms thank you guys thank you for the engagement so you okay, don't yeah. see let me you let, don't see none of this. let me hear some of this shit yeah let me hear because you're you're gonna get the shock of your life when we go to bet bash in august because i'm not even coming anymore you're, you're <laughs> no, well, the ticket's already purchased too bad yeah, yeah well but the thing is you you don't see any of the engagement back and forth right because not a lot of people comment on our youtube videos and stuff which you guys should please help us out you know comment like share do all that stuff but there's not a lot of people saying hey godfather what's up hey godfather take a look at this take a look at that i get all that and mm -hmm. one of the things people talk about Good. with coffee they want to they want to know why you're running out a box of coffee what is that why why doesn't the godfather have a proper espresso machine at his fortress up in vaughn why don't i have a proper machine yeah because what i don't know a couple episodes ago you said something like i ran, i need to order a new box and people are like box what box what are pods. you talking about box? My pods i run pods when you drink yeah. the amount of fucking coffee I do, you think you think we can be playing games with a freshly fine roasted thing? I'm no I'm no munchie cake that has one one espresso maybe every three days, dude. I'm having six, seven, eight espressos a day. Plus, I gotta tell you, the brand I use again. Shout out Trombetta. Don't, don't, no, 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 don't don't say anything. Don't say anything what? because because we're going to buy it white label eventually when we get popular doing this shit you know maybe by the year 2035 or something we're gonna we're gonna make godfather espresso that's we, we've talked about that before yes okay. because if you guys haven't seen his espresso reviews go dig in on my TikTok. I, I i dropped the bell heavily in that regard because i do have a lot of archives of the godfather trying espressos all over north america have, and he rates them but he but he 75 he percent but 75% of them were, like, undrinkable. Well, there you go. So that that's what I mean. So it makes sense to make your own 
Godfather espresso, and we're going to put it into a pot. No, I'm telling you, um, you want a crusade? It's the a- lack of a proper espresso in, in Vaughn, where my people founded? No, no, it's incredible how bad it, how bad it is. When, when, when I go to an all-you-can-eat uh, Japanese and Thai buffet, and they have a better espresso... Than, oh, no. than than an Italian joint, you know I fucking lose my mind. You oh, know that. Oh, no. that happened. Oh yeah, yes. Jesus, yes. I, I'm I'm really surprised you it's... went for it because usually at sketchy places like that, if you see espresso, you're like, no, nah, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. I here. was with my pal, and Mr. Perry said, "No, it's good, Ben." I said, "It's not." I, I my exact words were actually, "I can't get a good espresso in an Italian restaurant in in this city. I'm gonna get one here." And you got one. It was. I didn't say it was good. I said it was better, better. than some other places that should know better. I got you. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We're gonna we're gonna start this episode. <laughs> we're already six seven minutes in here, but we're gonna start it for real. We're gonna start it for real about talking about my my little trip to the Dominican Republic. Precisely. Forget about me. Let's talk about you nearly <laughs> getting killed and thinking you were dead, and me doing the Jesu Cristo. So, but I, I just want to highlight one one thing about the Dominican Republic. My first, uh, you know, you have to do the a la carte. You book an a la carte, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. The first night was an Italian restaurant. So I'm like, all right, well, in memory of the Godfather, I finished the meal with a cannoli and an espresso. Dude, it, it came to the table in like this giant mug. Like it makes this mug look small. It was like that much bigger. And... Obviously, no crema. And I took one sip, and then, like, everyone's looking at me. And they're like, and? And? I'm like, first of all, I'm not I'm not the espresso connoisseur, okay? I'm just the guy with the camera. Second of all, we're lucky that the Godfather's not here, because words would be had. Yeah, well, it was it was brutal. And, and I forgot to send it to you, but my father did a... Uh, cappuccino review for you oh nice so yeah go. yeah you're 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 wearing on people i i don't understand it but everyone wants to be like the godfather okay so we left you guys off last week with me in costa rica and i let you in on the little secret that i was hopping over to the dominican republic to shock the hell out of my parents by crashing their vacation Terrible at a resort person. in punta you're... cana <laughs> okay so so how it starts off is uh, i was i was trying to make it work but flying into punta cana was a nightmare because i, I think i would have had to go to panama first six hour Aye, layover oy. in punta cana so no no not happening so no. at that point i was like you know what great idea to try and surprise my parents but it's not going to work out but then i talked to the full dog who's done this before he's vacationed in punta cana he's Mr. Like international yes yes there's two direct flights weekly from san jose to santo domingo santo okay. domingo is the the main capital i guess yeah. city is the capital it's the in capital the dominican, dominican republic and he said then you simply hire a car and it, like a lot of these companies like have add-ons you know he goes when i went with my wife i added a bottle of champagne it was super nice they drove mm-hmm. us right from the airport right to our resort in punta cana it takes about an hour and a half two hours i'm like okay okay so i look it up and sure enough three hour flight 200 bucks bingo bango okay so what could go wrong what what could go wrong yeah it, what seems, could go it wrong? seems too easy well with everything going on and, and moving around and having my buddies down in Costa Rica, we had to do the podcast. There's a lot going on. So I wasn't paying any attention. I booked it online with the link okay. that the full dog sent me. Mm-hmm. And then I just forgot about it. Right. And I said, well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But then like 10 minutes before landing, I'm like, holy shit. You know what? I never heard from this company. So, so as far I as you know, there. so as far as you know, you're doing your descent maybe somebody's picking you up maybe, maybe not. I'm hopping in a cab yeah maybe, you know what i mean okay. I, I i have cash on me so we're good um no, of if, course. I, if i if i <laughs> that wasn't a flex <laughs> i'm just saying i was prepared if i don't get a message yeah. i I'm, I'm i'm still okay i'm still okay i think i think anyways 
So we land in Santo Domingo. I take my phone off airplane mode and bada bing, bada bing, there's all these weird numbers coming in. Hello. Just hello. That's it. And then there's one particular message. The guy sends three messages. Hello. My name is Kiko. I am your driver. Good evening. I am here waiting for you. And uh, something else about waiting in a parking lot. Okay. So it comes through on my phone and he, and he attaches this. Oh, I, I have so, to interrupt the podcast at this time. When you sent me this picture, okay, it was late at night. Yeah. And I, I, I thought to myself, like, is this like a, a um, Amber Alert kind of situation? All, uh, you know, uh, APB, all points bulletin, uh, be on the lookout for. And then I see Mr. Alexander Piscopus. And then I read your 10 the, text yeah, so, messages. Go ahead. So, so, so That is one this, scary This is what he sends. And it, I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, okay, that, that looks, I don't know. That looks a little freaky to me. Does it look freaky to you, Godfather? No offense to Mr. Kiko or the Dominican people, but that picture screams serial killer to me i just have to put it out there i'm gonna be the guy that says what everybody's thinking yeah and and i i couldn't agree more with you because it immediately made me uncomfortable so my next move okay i'll bring us back here my next move is oh my oh, god Jim. i gotta look i gotta look this place up dude i didn't even look it up i went to their website it was an older website but i'm mm -hmm. like the full dog used it so we're good you know i i don't think yeah twice. sure i, I mean recommendation we're good yeah, and, and there was the there was the upgrades and everything so i upgraded to an suv because i'm like why not it was 80 extra bucks I'm like yeah may as well be comfortable and there was add-ons i added three stubbies of uh molson something or other i don't know what it was oh molson Canadian beer, really? yeah three beers yeah uh, Coors, or maybe it was Coors actually Coors banquet oh, Coors owns stubbies. molson yeah yeah whatever yeah same thing yeah so um now i'm like okay first order of business i text the full dog i'm like dude do you remember these guys like sending you a selfie and i sent them the selfie i'm like well, this is a little creepy right he just wrote lol can't remember good luck lol that was his oh second my response god. oh my goodness so now i'm like I i'm nervous i'm actually nervous right dude i, I don't and know how you got in the I don't know how you went. I, I got to be honest. Anyway, continue. So now I now I do a full scale investigation on Dominican Limousine. That was the name of the company, Dominican Limousine. I'm, I'm firing. Go to the website. Website shit. I go to their Facebook page. There's one negative comment from like six months ago, and then a bunch of comments from 2017. So I'm like, oh great, great. This this company doesn't even exist. It might not even be a real real company. And I don't know who this guy is. I don't know if this guy intercepted my reservation. Yeah, without like, question. Why I have no would, idea. Like, I have no idea what's going on. No so, one can fault you for this. Yeah. No one. No one. So I get, I get off the plane, but this guy's now being aggressive with me. Hey, are you here? Hey, I'm waiting in the parking lot for you. <laughs> hey, where are you? Like, bang, bang, bang. And I'm like, sir, listen, it's, settle down. I said, I got to go through customs. <laughs> Mentenga la calma. <laughs> Dude, I had to go from the plane to a bus, a bus to the terminal. The yes. terminal. I get to. The, I, I was the front. I was the first one in line at customs. They're like, "Yeah, did you fill out your your form?" No. What form? Oh my God, they told me in Costa Rica that I had to fill out a a stupid form to get a QR code to be able to go through. Didn't so do I... it. So now, now I'm standing on the saddle. I'm trying to figure this out. Trying to get reception, right? going through my phone half the instructions are in english half of them are in spanish this is Nightmare. why i don't travel Nightmare. And, this is, and this is why i'm not coming to las vegas this is gonna to happen to me too forget it so i finally do it i finally go through customs the custom guy was being a bit of a jerk too but he let me through. of course you didn't have your paperwork ready hello yeah. so now i get to the front of the airport i send him a text i'm here he gives me a call okay come to the car I'm like, well, where? There's like, dude, it's it's like a traffic cap. Beep, 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 beep. 
beep, people people beeping, the people awake. Airport, of course. Everyone coming up to me, taxi, 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 taxi. Yeah, no, of course. No, I'm taken care of. I'm good. And he said, it's the white car at the end. What? So I'm like, okay. I rented an SUV, but I'll, yeah, whatever. No. So I start walking towards the end, and I see my sign, right? I'm going to pull it up again here. We'll see. Um, where... Yeah, I see this yeah. guy with the sign. The, okay. The Mannequin limousine. Yeah. And he's standing next to this. Oh, my God. I'm up. I'm up. I have, I, I spoke to you that night. You, in writing, wrote S-U-V. You have already cited an, I got an S-U-V. So, a 40-foot stretch limousine is an SUV in the Dominican? I don't know. How? I'm like, he's like, no, Mr. Right, Alex, no. right here, give me your bag. And I'm like what no, like no what and then no. dude all the other drivers and taxi guys and stuff are like that are coming around taking pictures boo, boo, boo. who are you are you famous you famous i'm like no i'm not famous no i'm not they're like they're like it's just for oh you i want to come with you i want to come with you and i'm like oh my god no what the hell no. is going on so now where's now the I'm suv like, Kiko. Where's the SUV? Where's and the SUV? My where my mind goes is okay. There must be more families involved in stuff or something. And instead of yeah putting us in separate SUVs, they're going to put us all in a stretch limo, and that's how we're going to go to Punta Cana. Yeah, that, not a not an reasonable, unreasonable right? not an unreasonable thought. Sure. No, like just me. Come on. Just me. Well, let me thing. tell you. Let me tell. They got my course banquet though, so I was pretty uh, pretty fired yeah. up about that. Yeah. But nervous as hell. Well, obviously. hello. Well, right? you know what? If you were being driven to your death, you sure you certainly went out in style there, Pisky. So, okay, again, super nervous now. I'm in the limo. We start driving. They roll down. Oh, hold on. I'll uh, I'll bring this back up. They roll down this. You know the little partition. Yeah. Yeah, okay. They roll down the partition. Mr. Alex, are you hungry? Um uh, no, I'm not actually. I I well, but we have two hours to go. It's a long drive. You know, we'll stop and get you something. I'm like, we do not need to stop. Direct, Punta Cana, no Vamos. stopping. Vamos, let's go. No gracias. Thank you for asking. Let's go. Okay. We start driving. Three, four minutes later, the limo stops. I'm like, <laughs> well, I'm trying to look. Hey, hey. Trying he followed to look your down. instructions. Red light, red light, red light. No, nope. we're on the side of the street. Pulled over. I look to I look over my right shoulder. There is open flames. There's some grills. I see big piles of meat. I see this dude with a massive cleaver just chopping shit. And I'm it's a like, roadside grill, very this popular. Is it. This is it. I, I, I. <laughs> I'm going down. This is what I see. Oh my God, no. Okay, let, let's let's uh, see if we can do that again. Here, take a good look. In a massive white stretch limousine. Night, you you, you went into the body. All eyes, all eyes on the limo. So now I see Kiko the driver getting out. All right, he goes and gets some food. I see two containers. He comes back to the car, hands me a container through the um, <laughs> partition, and I'm like, "You, you, you shouldn't have. You, you didn't have to." And um, yeah, so now I open it up. I open it up. Hold on. That's what we got. <laughs> Can you believe this? Can you believe this? And actually, look, look, I was digging through for content, and I found us a video that we can watch together. Listen to the music. So... I, I, because I'm thinking I'm about to be robbed, right? 
When we stopped at this place, dude, I was so scared that I was grabbing onto the door because I was sure they were going to penetrate. Like, they were coming in for me to grab all my shit. I was done. Yeah, I well. thought for sure, right? Then he gets the food. I think the food's poisonous. So that's why in that video, I'm eating it a little bit. Uh, are we good? Are we not good? So I, I am sweating balls. And, and another thing, they're taking pictures of me at the airport. They're also taking pictures. Like, they were surrounding the limo. Of course. People trying to peek in. Hola, hola. Of course. <laughs> Can you believe this? Can you believe Dude. this? So now, now the next level of insanity of this whole story, my phone dies. I have no choice. There's no plugs in the back of the limo. So I have to go up to the partition and talk to Kiko, the driver. It, and he had, Excuse he had me. Say, <laughs> excuse yes, me, yes, Mr. It, Kidnapper. Could, yeah. Can you give me a few bars so I can call the authorities? Muchas gracias. Yeah. He had <laughs> he had a senorita with him that could speak English. Thank God. Thank but goodness. Here's another. So I'm like, can I, can you charge my phone? You have anything up there? And they're like, yeah, but you have to leave your phone up here. I'm like, no, nah, I'm toast. I'm toast. I'm toast. But I, w what choice do I have at this point? I have to do it. You got to bring the 10 foot wire that I carry and you just give Kiko the 10 foot wire and then the other, the rest of the wire comes in the back with you. Yeah. I, I, I actually got to get one of those battery charger things. Yeah. Yeah. Charge, yeah. You know I think I mean? the, yeah, yeah, yeah then traveling. for the next Kiko. Yes. Every, everyone's telling me that. So I hand, I hand my phone to the senorita in the first, in the front seat, who was very nice, by the way, they, but both these people were super nice, but that's what killers no. always do, right? You see the yeah. movies all the time. 100%. So she she grabs my phone. Dude, I notice right here on her arm this massive tattoo that says Savage. All right? So now I'm in the back of a limo that I'm not supposed to be in, in the middle of Santo Domingo. We just left no. this fiery place, Cleaver, fucking crazy meat. I got this poisonous food next to me, I think. <laughs> I don't know. And for the next 45 minutes, I just got to sit there Dude. and hope nothing goes wrong. And they keep asking me what, what music I want played uh, on the radio. I'm like, something that put me in a good mood. Vacation, Dominican music. Let's go. <laughs> right? Like, how does this happen? So the story continues. After about 45 minutes, I finally say, okay, my phone probably has enough juice to it. I ask for my phone back. They give it back to me. Thank God. Right. And then I jump on Twitter. If any of you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw the whole story because I'm like, I got to get it out there because I, I, I feel like I'm still not safe. And that's when I hit up the Godfather. I'm like, dude, check Twitter. You're not going to fucking believe this. And and I didn't. I, I, yeah. I, I, for the first five minutes, for the first five minutes, I was trying to figure out what angle you were really going for. Wow what you did here who you paid to make me fucking think you're about to get killed but then when i saw the amount of posts and i saw a second picture of kiko well i was doing this the entire the, the, like we stayed on the he phone had, he, he did he, and he actually sent me in capital uh, cap locks wtf is going on and it was like straight, no LOLs, no nothing. Like, no what the around. hell is happening? Who the fuck is this guy? Because yeah. you said SUV. You sent me a picture of a stretch white limo. <laughs> like, could you be a bigger target driving no, through the Dominican? Of course not. So be, whether like... it's safe or not safe, whatever, that's, that's not the point here. The point is, is like, this is a target. Because obviously, someone who sees that driving down the highway at midnight... Well, yeah, knows somebody that knows that there's something inside. A hundred percent. And if right. they don't so, know, let's find out. So what's that's inside. what's going through my mind. Like they, they, these guys could easily fake a flat tire. Oh, without right? question. Fake an accident. <sighs> and and I only found I only found out after the fact that the same distance in the opposite direction is Haiti. I didn't know that, Mister Ignorant over here. Right. They go left instead of right. I'm in oh, Haiti. Oh, you're in Haiti, and yeah. What's happening over there right now? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, finally, finally, we get within 10 minutes of the resort. For I'm the record. I'm talking to Godfather. I'm talking for, to Brit. I'm talking to everyone. 
the for the record, brother. I tried to be positive. I want you to tell our listeners that I took it serious. And I, I even tried to talk some logic. Oh yeah. When you, to- when you told me your phone was out of juice and they juiced it for you, what was my response? Pisk, if they were going to kill you, you're you, they're not they are not charging your only source of communication with the outside world. Yeah. So exactly. So so once I got the phone back, I I I kind of knew at that point it was like, okay, I I think I'm safe. Like what could they possibly do at this point? But still, dude, like I told you, if I was in the limo with yourself or a big group or another family, something some something, 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 there's something. comfort there. It's, and we're laughing and we're actually chilling like holy shit. Yeah. I paid for an SUV. They gave me a limo, a beautiful company. Yeah, yeah. Know, we would have spent I, we would have spun it different, of course. Yeah. But the fact that I didn't know anything about any of this, no. that I'd never been to the Dominican, apparently this this quick texting thing is a thing there. Apparently the selfies are a thing there. Apparently the upgrade to, to, to give you like a memorable yeah. experience are a thing there. I did not know any of this. And there were too many So signs. is people going missing in the jungle a thing there? Well, like, that's uh, come thing. on. To tie it in with hashtag always betting, I remember reading a book. I think it was about, um, oh, man, what's her name? Oh, I obviously forget it. But, uh, oh, shit. I think it was how Bet Chris started or something like that. I, she follows Spanky. I, I've talked. Beth Raymer. Raymer. Beth Raymer, I think it is. Anyways, it was her story about how she started working at a sports book down in the Dominican Republic in Santo Domingo. And dude, that book is it's, it's I think it's called Dangerous Odds. Danger Thank you. Jesus, my brain, amazing. Dangerous Odds. <laughs> okay, you got to look it up. It's it's an amazing it's an amazing story about sports betting. And but but she goes on and talks about all the corruption in the Dominican Republic. How cops, like, I think there were, like, rape scenes and everything like that. So th- this is what's in my mind. I'm like, Santo Domingo is, like, known for this shit. But this was back in the 80s or something like that. So maybe I was getting a little bit ahead of myself. But still, I was still. alone. I was alone. And, yeah. it, it, you know, three, four people, that's all it's going to take. And that's it. I'm, I'm done so. Anyways, we finally pull up to Ocean El Fargo. You can see in the background the limo, the stretched limo in front. Dude, it happened again where everyone is coming out from the hotel, right? People that are staying there. Uh, cameras, they're asking to get into the limo to take pictures and shit like that. I'm like, do whatever you want. I am just so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be alive. I, 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 take, I take money out. So a lot of people, because I posted this on, on TikTok and it, 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 it got some traction behind it. And a lot of people were asking, Pisk, how much did this cost? And, you know, because it looks like a really fun time. Yeah, which it was a great fun time. If my mental... Yeah. If I was if, in a better mental space. But it felt like an ambush because that's kind of the way it went down because yeah. you, you didn't have any previous communication with anybody. You know, and then, you know, Kiko not being a very photogenic person. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, I'm sorry. Like, you know, someone like me, I probably don't get in that car. Uh, first of all, f- the, the principle of the matter is I wanted an SUV. You sent it at, like, it's going to be hard to convince the Godfather that this is an equitable, equitable deal. So, yeah, see, like, right there, we have, have a problem. Kiko you notwithstanding. <laughs> you don't believe in people being nice. No, you don't, be, you don't believe in good luck. Like you just know the draw. No, no, you're thinking no. you're thinking I'm about to be barbecue spit. Yes, anymore. without question. <laughs> without question. Without so question. I get out. Everyone was asking me I, the total trip was 270 bucks. That's my beers included. And that's with the upgrade. But I was so happy and so relieved <laughs> to be alive. Of course. I gave him four hundred. I said, "Keep a oh great job. God. That that should take care of the food and more. Give your senorita some as well. Thank Get you guys another very tattoo. much. <laughs> and and uh, do you mind? Just because I'm going to tell this story on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter, and eventually my podcast. Here we are. Uh, do you mind if I get a selfie with you for uh, for good measures? And Kiko applied. <laughs> he said, "Absolutely, dude." When I told them how scared I was. They both laughed hysterically. They're like, no, no, it's fun. It's good. I'm like, no, honestly, you guys, 
you really have to that's incredible man what a story you, you really have to give people the heads up because it, this wasn't comfortable at all and again one little heads up a little email hey lucky you you've been upgraded something and that yeah. is the most enjoyable two hour and 15 minute ride to a resort in the history of all rides yeah and i agree with you like it, like it, would it have killed them to send you an email with a picture of kiko saying i am kiko i will be picking you up at least now you have a face when you see this face like okay he's the guy that there's like they're sending right yeah. we, you know whatever trip details the trip will take two hours and 15 minutes exactly. there will there will be a even though you say no there will be a mandatory stop in the barrio to get some barbecue and you know <laughs> stuff stuff like that you may have opted for the suv upgrade you're gonna get whatever fucking car we send okay and you're going to be happy like if you would have gotten that email ahead of time i think simple your your anxiety might have been a little less and you would 100%. have had an excellent an excellent drive there but no you got out of the you got out of the suv and you threw an extra 130 dollars in okay uh, uh basically 50 percent tip because you were happy to be alive <laughs> at that point <laughs> I was. I, I, I really was. And for the record, the barbecue street food was phenomenal. Because <laughs> once once I realized that I was safe, dude, I, 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 I yeah, Of went, course. I went, Are you went, kidding? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, those were plantains on the side, by the yes. way. It was, I thought it was banana at first. Uh, I got a, quite the shock, but it wasn't. But it's was good. You take a salty piece of meat, you put it on the plantain, and you devour. And then the beers were going down so nice. And I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. <laughs> so, when it, so this this all happens. I finally showed up to the hotel at 1 a.m. Right When I'm checking in, everyone's like, who are you? Of course. Like... That... <laughs> because honestly, what kind of asshole shows up to a <laughs> resort in the Dominican Republic in oh a stretch God. limo at 1 a.m. Alone, alone? Completely alone. Alone with no, a carry that's... on. With yeah, the carry on. <laughs> next level. So yeah, they, uh, they started calling me 50 Cent around the hotel. Oh, <laughs> my God. All the hotel staff. Hey, there's 50 Cent. And then someone, I think, on TikTok pointed out that it should have been Pisky Cent. And I like that. That was pretty good. No, there you go. For sure. <laughs> so Chazo. just to wrap it all up, I got to show you guys the video of the reason why I was in the yes. Dominican Republic. The next morning, I, I went to bed. Obviously, I couldn't sleep after that. I was Who texting back sleep and forth. Your, like, <laughs> it must have taken a couple of hours for your blood print, like your to, your heart rate to go back down. Dude, yeah, I know yeah. you were. I know you thought you were dead. I know. Oh no, I, I did. I, I was nervous as, as fuck. I, it was crazy. So I, I'm texting the Godfather. He can't sleep. He's no calling me all. Cats, you ruined all my cats. night. <laughs> <laughs> The next morning, so I, I sleep for three hours because I'm like, okay, I got to get these guys at breakfast because the resort is pretty big and I, I don't know it and I don't want to run the risk of being seen because this well, is all a surprise. Nobody knows. Absolutely. And my, my parents are there with another couple, Snorky's parents. Yes. So I don't want to run the risk of being seen. So I get up three hours of sleep. The alarm goes off, groggy <sighs> as hell. I put some clothes on and I get out there. So... First thing I see is Eddie and Christine, my parents' friends, sitting at breakfast. So I walk into the breakfast thing. My hat is down super low, right? 50 cent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so then uh, I thought oh. maybe they might have saw me, but they did not, thank God. Because they're not expecting me. So even if it looks no. like me from a distance, they're not expecting no me, right? Chance. So then all of a sudden they get up and leave the breakfast joint. So I'm like, what the fuck is this? Meet at breakfast, 8 30 in the morning. Where could they possibly go? They go and get some towels. Then they gotta go, then they gotta go to the front desk. So here I am. I'm like, I'm, So I'm you're the, following them around. <laughs> I'm in the bushes. Yeah. Like just, I, 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 I snap a picture, feel like a detective, throwing it. Oh, actually, I wasn't throwing it online at the time because I didn't want anyone to see me. But yeah, if yeah. you look in the distance there, that is Eddie and Christine. Yeah. They're walking towards the front desk, the main lobby because there's orientation uh, so and th then, this was the next how long had they been at the hotel already they one day there the, yeah, they got there the afternoon before okay yeah yeah okay so, orientation so yeah, then yeah. about 10 minutes later i see my dad walking by himself you know kind of like scurrying so i'm like okay i can tell they're late to something 
<laughs> and then my mom behind him, right? And there it was. I had them perfectly. The Air Canada vacations dude is trying to sell them on all these excursions. And then my dad, being the person that he is, always, you know, attentively listens to the excursions and always wants to do every single one of them because the guy can't <laughs> sit still. Right? He wants activity <laughs> after activity. Let's go. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. He, he was actually able to uh, to relax on this vacation. I've never seen him relax like that in his life. First time. So, anyways, I, I, I figured that was... Uh, that that would have been the best time possible to get absolutely them. so so I, I i put it into action and here's the video that i put together parents on their vacation yes <laughs> is this orientation excuse me is this orientation You made your father cry. You're a terrible son. Dude, is that awesome or what? It was. I thought your mom was gonna faint. I mean, I, I, I'm glad I got her standing up. Uh, you know, uh, Christine was the second person to ask, are you alone? So this is a message to Snorky. You dropped the ball here big time. I know you had some very important meetings for work, but Snorky is my partner in crime that travels all over the world to meet me. And this one, he was heartbroken that he couldn't do it because normally it would be both of us standing there. Yeah. And it would it would have, oh my God, it would have set up that many more fireworks but yes i got my old man got them all teared up and uh proceeded to spend the next five days with my folks and christine yes. and eddie and uh, we had a phenomenal time if, if you follow me on instagram you'll probably know that the uh, bacardi boys are now famous <laughs> right i have right. negotiations with uh, with bacardi because uh, they want more of those two guys. <laughs> the two dads got lobstered up. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. A couple of the pictures I saw. I, I even had to comment on Christine's picture. I said, sunscreen, somebody, please. Dude, I they were having the time of their lives. And, That's and great. For them they deserve it. So, it. They it deserve was so it. much different. You know, I was coming there after a bachelor party. Right, so I just wanted to relax. All right, Lazy River for me, I yeah, perfect. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Lazy River to them was the crazy river. <laughs> Maniacs, man, they're, they're splashing kids and shit like this. Yeah. They're, they're lunatics. So, hey, uh, anyways, great old time, age. Great it happens. Time. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, it was an awesome time. But yeah, so there there's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know people online on TikTok and stuff like that really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I wanted to share it with everyone here on the and, podcast. And let me say, being probably one of only I'd say two people that knew two or three, if if, if you had, if you had approached Snarky too, uh, that knew you were going down. I. I was visualizing what it would look like because I know you. Social media is very important, and you're gonna you're going down to surprise your parents. I could never, I could never have anticipated just the extent of the reaction really? that you got that, that you got from your mom. Like, like I don't know, maybe it's just my upbringing. If I did that to my parents, I'd probably get a smack in the head saying, "What the." Yeah, boom. You know what I mean? Like why you why you spend so much money? Why you spend so much money? Are you crazy, <laughs> right? Something like that, right? But you know, just to see Boy. your mom let out that type of yell and and just the the energy propelled her forward to towards you and just and, and to see to see a dad crying tear up like, that, yeah. tear up like that. I mean, hey, that's some special shit. So well, good on you for that. Sorry, you had to basically you had to live an, a, a second life to hopefully see the next morning, but it worked out. So that's a really great story. Yeah, it was it was great, and I mean, they, they were both bugging me to go. Right? Yeah, and you I'm, couldn't. They, yeah, they know I'm Mister Work from everywhere, so they're like, "You can do it, you can do it." But I, I'm like, "No, no, I'm not going to." And but 
because the flight lined up, because the cost was reasonable. Oh, and the transportation said, you know lined up. <laughs> Fucking transportation. I'll never forget that for as long as I live, but crazy. So, yeah, just just question. You never get in that limo with Kiko? No. No way? No, I don't think so. Honest to God. Be- <laughs> A lot of people honest- have said that. I was with my uh, aunt honest- in uh, uh, honest to God. Saga yesterday. She said I'm, the same I'm, thing. I'm, I'm, I'm taking my chance. I'm taking my chance. I'm going to spend six hundred with a fucking ca- taxi cab driver, and which would probably I, I would, have been I would, worse. And I would have selected. Could... I would have selected the smallest taxi cab driver there, so that if a, a tussle insured, I'd come up on top, and then I don't know what. But to see to see Kiko to not know what I'm expecting to have ordered an SUV. And a stretch limo where people are already taking photos. Who you know? Who's 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 the hotshot from Beverly Hills that's come to the DR by himself? And no, I gotta tell you, it's a target. I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. Either that, or when, or when they stopped, or when they stopped at the roadside grill after I said no, no gracias, vamos. Then I'm breaking down the partition. I'm jumping in the front and. I'm 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 googling the Canadian embassy somehow, and <laughs> I, I'm just, I have to get I have to get to a safe haven. I don't know. It just really seems sketch, bro. What can yeah. I tell you? You're but I'm glad crazy. you made it, obviously. But fuck. yeah, that's crazy. Okay, okay. What? Everyone comes Stop. here to to listen to us talk about betting shit. So I guess we better do yeah. some of that. While I've been away, there have been some Major big headlines. Shit. Huge headlines, and one of them happens to be to my fantasy baseball superstar, and I don't like that at all. Well, I, I kind of do because <laughs> I'm hoping that there will be Let's a, a very, uh, yeah, that there will be a very, very Dude. stern um, punishment. Uh, he needs to be kicked out of the league for like P rolls. I I don't like what I've read about this. We're talking about Shohei Otani, if anyone's yeah. like wondering. We'll get to the Raptors guy too. That's another thing yeah. we're going to talk about this episode. Definitely. Uh, but the Shohei information that I read, I just opened up CBS about 20 minutes before hitting live here and caught up on everything. I mean, well, the translating guy changing his story, Shohei's paying for it. He knows he's paying for it. Now he doesn't know he's paying for it. Yeah. I'm stealing from him. Now I'm, you know, yeah. he's helping me, but now I'm stealing from him. There's a lot of changing going on there. And oh. yeah, I mean, there's a fall guy, which is obviously the translator, but that translator has been with him a long time. No, his entire, his entire time in the MLB seven years. Entire and he's time. more than just, he's more than just an interpreter. He's his personal valet. Okay, so yeah. unfortunately, both of the stories we're gonna we're gonna talk about here, it really really comes down to a guilty by association. Like it's not a good look, no matter what the truth is. The truth is that someone integrally associated and close to Shote was four and a half million dollars yeah into you, 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 into uh, an illegal sports bookie yeah yeah because and you're telling me the, all those bets are the interpreters not just not just okay yeah first of all like how how do you rack up a bill of four and a half million that that no way well, let no me, way! Well, I, if you're not, if your name isn't Shohei Otani or Drake, I, but that's like me. Okay, yeah. I live in the same city as Drake. You're gonna give me four and a half million dollars worth of credit? That's crazy. That's I don't crazy. think so. Knowing how hard credit is to get, I mean, you can yeah. get, it, you can find it, but you really like, you really gotta push hard. Pisk, four and a half mil. Pisk, you know a lot of people in the gray. Maybe even black areas. Eh, maybe. For you to get per allegedly. For you to get four and a half million credit? Come on, man. No. Like this is huge. And, so and, I, I, I worry I, for Shote because he's been just, nothing but great I, I for the MLB. Is, 
I think his name is Shohei, by the way. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I call him Shohei. I call him whatever. You purposely, you purposely disrespect him, my fantasy baseball superstar. I think you are. <laughs> yes, I think so. Yes. Yeah. So he's been great for baseball. I don't want to say no. I feel bad if he is the victim of a, a scam artist, but clearly this interpreter had his hands never, in the cookie jar. They never talked about it. This guy's yeah. racking up those kind of bets. That means he's got to be betting six figures. 110 listen, to win 100. Listen. 110,000 to win 100. At if, least. if the interpreter is even one tenth like me, when you got 100K on a game, you're talking about it. And you're talking about it to anybody within your personal <laughs> space. Yeah. Anyone the under the you... same roof. Of course. Okay? When things go flying at my house, my kids ask me, who lost? So, like, hello. And the thing, they know from the, people from, are gonna from know a, from a bookie's perspective okay you know he's not shohei otani no right he works for shohei otani so you're gonna you're gonna give him you're gonna give him a line of credit that that goes to seven figures no chance. four million dollars you're gonna give to the interpreter you know he doesn't make the money that, that's why yes unfortunately where there's smoke honestly, there's fire in this case Sho, and... Shohei Shohei's on the trading block like I like what they've done you know with with everything yeah. and like oh he's not involved at all I got robbed from blah 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 come on yeah. man from, from, from the black market's perspective I think I think he's in some doo-doo and I, I used to play yeah. at DraftKings and I'm playing with this guy and I thought it was legal. Come on, get out of here. What are we yeah, talking wow. about? Who are you trying to sell that to? Yeah. That's wow. crazy. That's, That's crazy. crazy. It's crazy and it's and we know that you know Major League Baseball takes takes betting on the game. Takes betting very well, seriously. Yeah. Well, they, and, they have to. They have to. You know, I mean, I'm sure you've seen so, Pete Rose on on social media saying I, I i wish i had an interpreter in the 70s and 80s <laughs> is that what he said he, oh he, yes yeah, I saw, oh, yeah. yeah standing beside an asian woman like yeah like, and, and these here, things here, don't go lost on the an, godfather here's another thing when i when i first saw the 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 article i'm like yeah it must have been the interpreter because Shohei just got to the Dodgers. Like, how could he possibly get involved with a bookie and build that kind of rapport yes. and lose that kind of money that quick? But no, he's been playing in the other LA Anaheim team. Yes, he's with the Angels, right? Yeah, so he's been there. He's been there. He's been years, in so he's been in Southern California the entire time he's been in the yeah in the major league. And and if this guy was racking up those kind any any credit afforded the interpreter was a nudge nudge wink wink association with the star it, i mean I, hello it, it, it does stinks not, it's it terrible look, it, it stinks it does stink and knowing what i know about the sports betting industry i'm gonna make it official shohei otani is on the trading block in our <laughs> fantasy football league all right yeah no best problem. best offer wins best I offer get, wins I gotta you gotta get, get something. I gotta get rid of them. I'm not. I'll, I'll spare you, Godfather, because now no. you know. Well, what I'm I, I don't trade. I, I don't trade. I don't trade with you anyway. So I mean. Well, I, I'm telling you, people are gonna wake up tomorrow morning with Shohei in their inbox. Oh, there's. And, I, I'm. And, I'm surprised. You. You know. I'm surprised that it already hasn't happened. Because I. You well, know. Because I, I just. I just. Don't I have people now. that would have already let me know this information, and it well, hasn't. Know, it I hasn't. Know, <laughs> yeah, know you know. People, the two people that aren't getting them is you and you know who. Okay, because I don't want to. I don't want this getting public. In the, I, I want it nice and hush hush. Yes, of you course. Know? Do you? And, you you have to maximize and, your 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 return. I mean, yeah, I don't. On. I don't want any chatter about this in the group chat, right? <laughs> and the problem is, is a lot of the guys that we play with in this league are from Southern California. Yeah. Well, so there's... they're probably big Shohei fans. So I'm expecting a very big return. I'll I'll just tell them, guys. You know, you know, it, it's all legit. It was all the, it was all the translator. Don't worry about it. Don't this worry about gonna, it. This guy's gonna. And be then fine. the next day he's he's, he's gone for the rest of the year. <laughs> it does, uh, it, it's scary. big blue wrecking crew. I'm 
coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Someone's getting them, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. The second gambling story that surfaced while uh, the Godfather and I were taking a little hiatus. Uh, shit, I don't know his first name. Porter. His name is Jonte. 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 Jonte Porter. Michael Porter Jr. Jr.'s little brother. You like uh, Michael Porter Jr. I remember. Yes, I do. Too, yes, right? yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. I remember. I remember. Yes, Don't worry. Yes, I Don't do. Um, what did you think about that? Again, it really, it really highlights. It really, it really, this story, it, it just highlights that it could be something as subtle as. He's talking to some of his friends, and basically they ask him, say, hey, how you, how you feeling? And he, he says, oh, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Bing! Yeah. Next thing you know, there's, you know, I don't know. I've been told there's betting syndicates, even in the Great White North, and there's betting syndicates in Toronto. Before you know it, you've got a, 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 a chat group, string of 50 guys and they're all hammering the under yeah and um, then when said player on two games pulls himself out of the game again this to me stinks even more than the interpreter at least shohei can point to a scapegoat <laughs> who does who, who does John Tay? Who does John Tay point to? I'm still Ooh. laughing at that Pete Rose. I wish I had an interpreter in a second. Yeah, um, I'll That's send funny. it to you. That's it's funny. That's funny. It's legit. So it, um, it's a bad look for the kid. It really it, is. It is because it, 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 honestly, there's um, you know you 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 said you went on CBS for the uh, show. Hey, info. Both go. Go on to CBS. There's a really good article there that I read about Porter, and yeah. it really it really highlights how something like this could get out, even without his involvement. And 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 the the the, the final product is the same, you know, like yeah. And it it's happened all... twice. It wasn't once, so it's not. You can't even say it's an isolated incident. Twice. Yeah, I. My opinion is I I didn't see you enough know. I didn't see enough data. I, I really didn't because first of all, everybody knows, it's common knowledge for everyone watching this that participates in the sports betting industry. Uh, for those of you that don't, it is it is extraordinarily difficult to get down large sums of money on prop bets. Yeah, 100%. it is. Yes, okay, it is. so that article that you read on CBS quoted saying, "Yeah, prop bets are usually circled to one thousand to two thousand dollars." Tell me where the Godfather can go play a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks a prop. Tell me, please. DM us. We need to know. We give need, me, give me that out. Give me that we out, please. Because Godfather, you play props almost every single night in the NBA. How much can you get on some of the big boy places? Three hundred. Tops. Tops. Yeah. 300. So there you go. Now, okay, maybe... But 300, even... and m my finger is shaking as as I'm waiting for it to, to come back that it's been accepted. Accepted. <laughs> okay, um, so... Now, some, some of your accounts are generally, like, limited and shit like that. Oh, some? But, like, even, even, a, even a fresh account. You sign up to a fresh DraftKings. Fresh, fresh? They don't know who I am. They're, they're not giving you two dimes a prop. There's no no way. chance. There's no chance. And, and if I'm wrong, please let me know that I'm wrong. No, like maybe no, no. maybe a Wales account that has lost a shit ton of money. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe, maybe gray area. Maybe a black area. A, a no, black like, area. Like if if you're gonna do something like this, that's where you gotta do it. Offshore. Yeah. Preferably well. black, but that's I'm not that's. Sketchy has its own too, has because, its own issues well, and risks. Yeah, but a lot of the black market is controlled by organized crime, and basically you're cheating. And if you want to cheat organized crime, I I, I don't recommend doing that. I, I, I really I don't. don't. You got to be very careful. I, I I wouldn't. But I you know I some someone I think it surfaced online on Twitter, and someone said this is actually real. It was like an eighty thousand dollar same game parlay. 
one player all unders. I mean, if you're going to do same game parlays, that's the way you got to do it, right? If we think back to the OLG days and what we mm-hmm. did with with the same game parlays, under, 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 and you just correlate them all. That's that's how you do same yeah. game parlays. You don't sit there and try to handicap six different legs of a game like that. That's you're never going to win that way. Not not I, even close. Yeah. Another question I have is okay. So you've brought up the appropriate you know, amount of the bet you're going to get. Honestly, I've never seen this kid being even offered on the, on the regulated books that I'm at. Really? I, no, there's, they'll have five, six, seven guys tops in, in various stat categories, assists, hmm. rebounds, points. Yeah. When you go to any, whatever place you're going, I, I, I don't see uh well, john I, tay I think... porter now on a couple of games where he was already it was known that he was going to be in the starting lineup because of the raptors injuries i'm yeah. not sure if perhaps on that day he'd be readily available and if okay and if those days are the are the two nights one at the end of january and one um a month later okay if those are the days that he took himself out i mean listen but, I, I, I i that's what they said stunk a little bit more about this situation is that they offered him because there were so many injuries to the raptors now because of those injuries you think that he's going to get a lot of run right yeah so he's going to get a lot of playing time so normally somebody you know, hung a number based on you know, that and, and now he's taking himself out of the game no 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 normally when something like that happens you're going to get action on the over because this guy is usually getting 13 minutes a game, 14 minutes a game, but because of these injuries, he's going to get 26. So usually, theoretically, with the square, especially these recreational slash predatory sports books, overs, overs. But you're getting smashed on the unders? Why? Right? But, so, I, I don't know. Like, I, I looked into it a little bit deeper. The guy makes 400 k a year, two-way yep. contract, right? Yeah. I don't know what he told his buddies or who if he told anyone or what but like you would you would sacrifice he, how old is he? He's got to be um, like early 20s, right? Yeah, mid 20s. Tops. You're going to sacrifice it all to hit a parlay on DraftKings? 24, 24 years old, Pitt. 24 years old. 24 that, years old. That seems very silly to me. Now, unless this 80K parlay was real, 80K to win, I think it was 1.1 or something like that. Maybe. Maybe. Tax free. I, I, I don't know. There, there's really not enough details that have emerged that have come out. Uh, they noticed it, I guess, because of all the different bets. And they're like, oh, this doesn't make sense. And then he took himself out. Yeah, okay. Like, you know, there is smoke there for sure. But, man, you're going to be pretty dumb to think that this this kind of shit gets unnoticed yeah especially at the regulated places absolutely just give me a sec because there was um, a sports net um yes okay i've found it uh it was um I hate a story right? a story from the dailyhive.com that outlines the raptors big man's passion for getting stock tips cryptocurrency trading and no. the odd bit of sports gambling talk so somebody told he, this other reporter that he about likes that, shit? that he likes that stuff now I... that doesn't make it true no. that doesn't that doesn't mean it happened okay no. all right but no. when you get yourself embroiled in these types of things the look is not good from any angle. Yeah. Two okay. games, pulled himself out, pulled himself out of the game. Okay. Because hey, if a player says I can't go, what's well, the, the coach, Croatian? What's the, the coach, Serbian coach gonna do? The coach said, I ne- I've never seen anyone like do something like this. Usually, I take these you know requests quite seriously, and yeah. why why would I not? Right. You know. So that's um, that but, part of the article really caught my eye because I'm like. But anyone could be Does he really right now. Yeah, precisely. Michael, but I Michael, mean Michael Porter Jr. came to his defense and said, Yes, bro- of course. My, my brother loves basketball. I can't see yeah. him doing this. But maybe, you know, because man, like maybe I gotta maybe this is what we gotta start. 
so run some sort of course to, to educate all these professional athletes about how sophisticated these places are. Because you, they know a lot more about you than all of you guys think. Trust me. You're Trust talking me. about the sports books now. Yes. Of course. Yes. Yes. I have insiders, a lot of insiders, and they tell me about some of the technology to catch people bearding, to catch people multi-accounting. And it honestly and to limit recreational players like me. Well, yeah, that's not fair. That's not fair. fair. No, it isn't. That's not fair. But that's anyway, prejudice. it is prejudice. It's a stereotypical. It's it outrageous. Is. It's <laughs> I'm doing the Jack and Chats thing. Anyway, but yeah, it's okay. I, like I feel for the kid. I I don't want it to be true. Uh, I uh, you know feels like it is though. I I I I want young people to do the right things. And 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 it's <laughs> no, but but well, wait a second here. <laughs> yeah, but but I mean, like it yeah, just man. doesn't look right. And no shit, and, no shit. Yeah, but that's yeah, well, that's yeah. why he's in hot water. It looks that's terrible. why he's in hot water, and it's terrible. But Absolutely. hopefully, it comes out, and he's innocent, and you know, life goes on. Because yeah, I'm, I'm telling so too. you, there there's there are some games, some line movement that I saw in college basketball a few weeks prior. That looks a lot stinkier than both these things. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Let me tell you. But yeah. I don't know anything about anything. Uh, but I mean, that's that's what you get now. You're gonna get all kinds of shit like this. Yeah. And because and, people people are gonna continuously think they're smarter than the yeah. app on their phone. They're the smarter. I oh they won't they won't notice this, they won't notice that. There Guys, was they will notice. Trust me. So oh, a hundred percent. Very careful. Very careful if you're doing shit like that. But we're not talking to those people. Mm -hmm. We're talking to the no. people that want to play at DraftKings that aren't allowed to play at DraftKings. And let me tell you, you got to be very careful going back into places when they tell you to leave because yeah. they you tell you to careful. leave. Just get your suitcase, get your shit, and get out of Dutch. End the story. Uh, yeah, I mean, and just. The final thing. Just no, I, I'm not saying that because I don't think that's right either. I'm not encouraging you to leave and never come back. What I'm saying is, if you decide to go back, you're not supposed to, according to the terms and conditions of many of these sites. Yeah. But if you decide to make a choice and stick it to them again, be careful. Yeah. Dot your eyes, cross your teeth, take every precaution possible, whether it be Wi-Fi, burner phone. I could go on and on here. One more, one more quote that I wanted to just bring up, and we'll we'll finish up with the uh, with the Jonte uh, Porter, Bruce Brown, his own teammate, was quoted as saying, "People know not to ask me anything about anything to do with me or my teammates." He goes, "If somebody texts, if somebody is, if somebody texts me." I ignore the text. Be and so that to me tells me it is very prevalent that there's these fringe people, because let's face it, there's humans playing on these leagues. So they have yeah. friends. And, and, and the NBA, hockey, NFL, all these sports, and the government brings in all these regulated sports books, and we couldn't get away from it for a year and a half as far as uh, marketing goes. You, you're trying to tell me some people aren't looking for an edge to play. And if I know that, you know, Gary Trent Jr.'s leg is killing him, he barely got through practice. Well, and he's available to bet on. I'm not going on the over. I'll take my shot on the under. And then if he takes himself out of the game, it's not a good look. Yeah. But you know what I mean? So it's orchestra or you got to orchestrate it better if you're going to do yeah, shit like Yeah, without that. question. And, and, and for the record, for the record, that was Bruce Brown, you said yes. that made that quote. Okay. Yeah. Corey Crawford played how many years in the NHL? 12? Something like that. Yeah. I don't I, like I don't that. know if it was 12. I, I Maybe 10. 10 for sure. I, I uh yeah, uh I mean, I, give or take. 2000 Anyways, whatever it was, seven years, eight years, nine years, something like that. I never once sent him a text with anything like that. And obviously being firmly entrenched in the sports betting industry on the aggressive side, the aggressor side <laughs> of sports betting, never once. Never once inquiring about anything 
asking him about injuries, ask him how he's feeling, nothing like that. It's just, it's an unwritten rule, I I think. I don't know. It's scummy. And and I I feel like, you know, maybe there was some sort of opportunity there. But, like, what I've done in the sports betting industry has been actually legit. You know what I mean? It's not like you're getting this shitty ass, you're doing these weird type of things so yeah i can go on the record and i said I, i've never once sent him a text about any of that shit yeah. so. the only reason the only reason why i brought up the bruce brown quote is be, i just wanted to illustrate that the league itself is 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 educating its its employees the players that they that they need to be aware and cognizant that yeah. no matter where these questions are coming from they are questions that are are cannot be engaged with cannot be engaged they, with thank you they, they could be they could be taken the wrong way out of contact absolutely and all, out of of con- sudden, all of a sudden you look terrible all of a sudden terrible. you a cheater so yeah not not exactly. happening next all right all right um we're, we're at the finish line here so maybe quickly just before we go i actually have one thing to say because we always have to make mention of them at least once per episode Oh, Jesu Christ, I thought I made it through. Nicholas from what platform? Must have been Twitter. Nicholas from Twitter. Uh, must be an Ontario guy. He said he played at ProLine, and he said he, for whatever reason, got crushed at ProLine. I'm not going to say the number, but it was significant. Okay, we don't we don't care about the numbers, the exact numbers. Um, you'll be happy to hear this, but I, I think they should do a lot more. They sent him a jersey in the mail. A Leafs jersey. Authentic, with his name on the back. I said I was going to show it on the pod, but we don't need to, to show last names and stuff like that. Oh, of but course yeah. not. No. Yeah. No, we so, should. So, are, are you happy about that? You always stick up for the OLG? They're sending giant losers? Again, I, I, I think this guy is actually a sharp, but he just went cold at this particular site. You know, it happens. Well, it happens. you know what? I'm a, it, it, I'm a loser it, at Betway right now, and I'm sure a lot of you will probably find that funny. <laughs> well, you um, know what? I, I would have preferred that they didn't send anything because what? It's, I it's think just... they didn't do enough. So I like to. I like that you took you. you <laughs> I don't know which way you were going there, but I'm against <laughs> you. As usual. of course, of course you would. Of course, you listen. Would. You you lose a significant amount of DraftKings, FanDuel, any of those big boys. They're putting you on the court at a Raptors game. No, they're not. Yes, they are. VIP. VIP. Ask our friends. Ask some of our friends that have gone cold at some of the accounts that they played at. Oh, it'll take us into the last thing that you're about to say. Uh, points bet. One of our friends, one of our good friends, ran cold at points bet and was invited to a box at a Leafs game. Well, right. I prefer and the OLG. The OLG I, sends a fucking jersey. What? But you know Come what? On. Okay. Come on. Okay. I, I get where you're going with this now. You know, it's just a token. I mean, the OLG is very good at giving out, you know, token merchandise to our, uh, you know, consistent customers. And um, yeah, Bullshit. I mean, do better. Do I, better. I, I prefer Verify go, your banking documents. I prefer to go the other route where my my exit balance is substantially higher than my <laughs> deposit balance. There you was. go. Last thing before we let everyone go, Godfather, because we're running on OT right right now. Uh, points bet. Hmm. You got kicked so, out, didn't you? I got um, I got R two dollars and seventy five cents. I um, yes, I actually spent um, a half an hour on the phone yesterday, and I was lucky enough to get a, a fine young Italian lad. He even wished me a bona Pasqua, bona Pasqua. And, uh, you know, I, I told him I have 35 years in the industry. I said, I, I don't understand. I understand what has occurred. But I said, if you think for a moment that I'm not going to escalate this $155 bonus bet issue, because they're applying the 275 to my bonus bets too. And they won't let me split it up into $2.50 
limits. So I can play a minus 110 at $2.50. Do we understand what's going on in the regulated industry? Why? I, I don't even know. I, uh, you, you tried to text me about that, dude. If, if you're playing our 275, that's you. you. You take care of it. Yeah, I am going to take care of it because <laughs> I'm not leaving shit on the table. Uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not dealing with toonies in the sports I, betting industry. I got that's not him. Happening. I got him to admit. I asked him a simple question. Did I acquire those bonus bets in good faith by putting business through this account absolutely mr mirabelli now i want to well, use it i want to use it he's lying to you i, I don't think brazil too is good fucking business if okay but me. okay well send me the paperwork i will sign whatever documentation that i will only play tier one sports moving forward but i gotta get that money back pisk i gotta use it uh, obviously so if 150 if i can somehow salvage half of that yeah, yeah right no, like I, you what's do, fair, you fair but i i just don't think we gotta dive in and dissect it and say what's the good strategy to get this bonus bucks out <laughs> but i'm up i'm obsessive i'm sorry they, they paid you in how long just no. to let everyone know hello one second here they did what they felt was financially responsible for them However, out of all the books we I've been kicked out of, okay, and there's the, the number is really going up. One hour. One hour full payment. One hour full payment. And it was mid five figures, I believe, right? Mid four figures. Well, we don't talk about numbers. We're gonna talk no, about numbers for listen i i want to i want to distinguish for people that are going into points bet what they can expect. One payment. Mid what? four figures, you're good, right? There's none of this multi payments. There's none no, of this no, no, bucks max a day. No, no, one, one, one shot, boom, right? One shot, one shot, 51 foot 34. One shot, <laughs> you said you, you just gave the number. Way to go, Way what, to go. One, one shot. Good. So, that's, I mean, that's good, that's good info for everybody. no, no. It's honestly, they treated me right there. This is like the second or third book that I like. I wish this stuff wasn't happening. Well, no shit. <laughs> you know, but it's not. You know, it's not a flex. I'm not up at every book, but the ones, the ones that are kicking me out are my favorites. Yeah, because you're kicking their ass. <laughs> no, kicking their ass. <laughs> All right. Come on. All right, we've kept them around long enough. We got to let everyone go. And we got family business this weekend. I d we're yeah, over, hello. We're over by 12 minutes, Jezo. Christ. Well, well, that's because you and your fucking uh, Kinko story wasn't my fault this week. <laughs> that's correct. That, I, I did go a little bit deep. No, but what a story. Anyways, I, I'm, yeah, it was a great story. All right, everyone. Happy bon Easter. Happy Easter. We'll catch you all next week. Ciao. Oh, 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 oh,